did you make of the sale today, or the imminent sale, certainly ticked off by the Foreign Investment Board and the Treasurer, mm. of, of Bellamy's Milk Australia to the Chinese? Oh, look, I, I'm a bit uh, massively concerned about this because uh, here, here, here they are, they're doing these, these milk formulas, the baby formulas and that, which is a huge market within China. And it's a great opportunity for uh, an Australian business Australia uh, it was set up by a family that could really uh, break into that market, deliver some really great export outcomes for Australians and jobs back in Australia and keep this business going. There, there, there is a lot of concerns in regard to the China issues uh, because we know uh, they, you know, these corporates and that don't, uh, don't have the freedom that we, our corporates do in regard to arm's length from government. And so they are concerning that th this is a concerning issue. What do you make of both issues there, the price of milk, uh, Rebecca, but also Bellamy's? Oh, look, um, from my perspective, I think the government has put some conditions in place to ensure that uh, governance uh, has to meet Australian standards, that production stays in Australia. And frankly, I see this as an enormous opportunity. Australia has become as rich and as successful as it has through foreign investment. If we had had to raise in this country all the money that was needed to develop it and to turn it into the, the success story it is, it wouldn't be a success story. So it's been the Brits and it's been the Americans and uh, now it's the Chinese. And yes, they don't share <coughs> the same values of us, as us, but I think with these controls in place, this is a great opportunity because the Chinese, if nothing else, they work hard to grow businesses. I think we'll see there's enormous potential. The reason why the Chinese are interested in this is because milk baby powder production in their country is lamentable. That's why the Chinese consumer wants to buy Australian and New Zealand product because it's got a guarantee. So I think these people, the controls are in place and I think if they want to make money they know that people are Chinese people are buying it because it's got that guarantee of being safe and being clean and being yeah, but just healthy on that, for Rebecca, their I'd be much happier. I would be much happier if they were buying it from an Australian company and the mm. profits mm. And the were staying is in Australia and, and a mm. level of the milk was staying in Australia. I made the point you might have missed it earlier, but the, the vertical integration model, once they own the means of production, once they've got the milk coming in, they'll have a secure chain that basically all of that Bellamy's milk will be for export markets in China. Well, I think most companies uh, really want to grow the market. They won't want to simply service one market. They, this is a big international... The, there is not enough supply of infant formula in the world and uh, it would be very unusual for a company not to want to develop all those opportunities. I think there are big export opportunities right yeah, throughout Asia. Yeah, but they are Asia. a 100% or a largely owned state entity of China. We won't see... Uh, that profit. I'll bring in Bernie Finn, but uh, my concern, Bernie, you heard that point about vertical integration, but also processing, milk processing, and yep. I think it is Tasmania. I'll need to check my facts, but one of the states is we've sold all of our milk processing <coughs> and we're doing this more and more so that we're, we're basically taking ourselves out of the supply chain so yep. our farmers yep. then are hostage to usually foreign players who then control how you go from the farm to the market. Yeah, well, as the son, the grandson and the great-grandson of a, of a dairy farmer, um, I've probably got a, a bit more interest in this than, than most, and it, and, it, and it just distresses me to see this happening uh, with, with Bellamy's. Um, I'm not opposed to foreign investment, far from it, but I am very deeply concerned about the role of investment from China and keep in mind we're not talking about Chinese companies here because when you talk about Chinese business you are actually uh, talking about the buck stopping uh, at the Central Committee of the Chinese Communist Party they're, they're the ones who call the shots and that's something that concerns me particularly those of us in Victoria are concerned because our Premier Daniel Andrews has been in China doing all sorts of deals, secret deals, uh, with the Chinese government and we don't know exactly what he has sold off. We don't know what's going to happen in a few years' time when the Chinese government decide that they're going to come in and, and you know, perhaps claim half Victoria for all we know. Um, it, it, it is a major concern and I think it's something that we, we really do have to be very, very wary of.